be my, my third Olympics, you know, along with, with some of the players, and this has definitely been the toughest squad to choose because we know that we've left out players that can genuinely do a job for the team, even to start football matches. And you know, it's been easy to pick some players because you know some players stand out game after game. Um, yeah, but, but with most of the squad, it's been, it's been pretty tough. Yeah, have, have an experience at these tournaments is it's the most important thing. We do lots of research on what leads to success at major events and the common trend is the teams that have got the oldest average age and the teams that have got the most experience. I mean it means it, it, it means so much like I mean representing um, your country in anything a World Cup or any kind of event you go to but I mean the Olympics is just incredible because it's not only um, you know, you're the, you know the girls, the football fans, um, but it's it's the New Zealand Olympic team too. So it means it means it means a lot. I mean, it's it's incredible. I'm really excited. Definitely, it's it's something you can't describe. You've you've got to go there and see it yourself and experience it to really get the feeling and and be in the atmosphere. Um, and especially once you're there, especially in the Olympic Village, it just makes it that much more important. Since I was a kid, I always dreamed to go to the Olympics, and I'm lucky enough to just be my third. So, yeah, it's a massive achievement, and I think it's really exciting where we're at now as a team. So, it's, yeah, awesome to see what we're going to do at the Olympics. It's massive for me, um, being only 19 and already being named in the team to go to the Olympics. It's uh, pretty crazy, to be honest. Hard to believe, and um, but I'm super excited to go. It's crazy. I've had this dream ever since I was four, really, when I started playing football um, as a midget. And the reality for me is a privilege and an honour, and I couldn't be more grateful. The younger players, I mean, they've had the benefit of age group World Cups, but this is definitely uh, another level for them. And we know they can do it on the pitch, and then it's just going to, you know, making sure we harness that enthusiasm so that they can unleash it on the pitch. and. The good thing is the younger players coming through, they play with no fear. They go into games and they, they know no difference, so they just go out there and express themselves and that's going to be important for us at this tournament. Our team is probably one of the tightest teams and most, we're like a family pretty much, we're all sisters and, and we're all there for each other, so we're all in our own environments, but when we come back in, into this one it, it makes our connection that much stronger and we just get along and it, and it helps us on the pitch also with our performances. The team culture for the Ferns is definitely one of our X factors as a group. You know, we, we don't have the luxuries of some of the resource of other teams in the world. You know, the teams we're going to be taking on at the Olympics, we don't have the playing depth numbers compared to some other countries in the world. But they don't have what what we have, and, and that is that real strong bond, that connection. When when you go on the pitch, we know we've got exceptional players that can win games, but we know that you know in tough moments or across a game, that connection, that cohesiveness of the group is will be uh, definitely a factor that's going to be that could decide games. We just gel together so well and I think that's really special. I think um, not many other teams have that and um, yeah I, I love joining the Ferns wherever I am in the world when we come together it's always really good. Yeah I think the, 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 the great thing about the Olympic Games is you, you, you know that the football public in New Zealand are going to be supporting you. You know that, and that's always, I mean, that's why we do it. We do it to inspire people. We do it to, you know, um, achieve great things for, for the country. But when it comes to the Olympics, you know that you're going to have the whole New Zealand public backing you. And that is definitely something that does inspire us as a team. And you know, we go to World Cups and it's, and it's massive for us as a group. When we go to the Olympics and being part of this greater New Zealand team, it, you, you, it does help you find that extra few percent because you know that everyone's willing you on. It's it's really special the fact that we're um, kicking it off. Like I mean, that's crazy. We're just gonna go out there and set the standard and sort of um, get everybody else motivated and get everybody else pumping to go out and smash um, their events and their sport and stuff like that. So I think it's quite exciting for us to get out in there and just set the standard and get New Zealand firing for the for the rest of the games. There's nerve nervous energy and there's um, excitement. Um, and pride, absolute pride, knowing that um, you're representing your country, you know, you're out there with your, your teammates, um, and it's just, it's a feeling that you'll never forget, you know. For me, yeah, I think about now of, of walking out onto the pitch for the first game and, and really taking it to uh, USA and just for everyone back home to, they see the growth that we've done as a team, but now, like you say, it's about getting the results because that's what matters. 
Um, and I think just to make the nation and New Zealand proud is also just makes our achievements that much more special. When we drew America first up, it was even one of the best draws we could have got really because we are not a team that wants to get out of the group. We're a team that wants to go all the way through to the end of the tournament and at some point you need to play USA and, and you, need to, you need to beat them. And for us to play them first up um, is going to be a, a great opportunity for us to do that. But what we haven't done before is go beyond the quarterfinals, which is for us you know, is an absolute must in, in this tournament. Yeah, this is going to be possibly the last Olympics for some of the girls. Um, so it is, it's going to be a special one and we're, we've had this gold medal vision in our mindset for since they started the campaign back four years ago so this is definitely going to be a special one and we're all raring to go. We've grown a lot as a team and you know we started off at a point and now we've grown up to here so I think it's about time that we really need to make a statement and go out there and yeah, win a medal and upset people and show everyone what we're actually made of. I think you know we, we want to make a, a big statement in this Olympics as a team and we know we can. And then I think you know, in 20 years' time, what we hopefully can be proud of as a team is you know, the legacy we've left in women's football in New Zealand and, and to see the girls be, you know, work so hard to get themselves in a position to do something incredible like that, it's been great to be a part of.